Looks ordinary enough. A sleeper, 92 Astrovan. No drink and drive. Hey, what do you got in that cup there, Rick? <laughs> just a minute, I want to see underneath this thing. We just got it as a free gift. Oh, you can't even see it, but you can see the header collector pipes. And this ain't no 4.3. This is a modified van. Donated from some YouTubers from Windsor. A 92 Astro van that they claimed does 12, well at least high 12 quarter miles. <laughs> That's amazing. It's got a high output 305 roller cam, dual exhaust, headers. Well the duals do go into one final muffler. And she came out of a Camaro and they've done her up a little more so she's extremely fast. The 411 rear end gears, posi. They say with the good tires and on a real track, she hooks up and she launches while well, I have other plans. Yeah. Start her up, Rick. Let's see what she sounds like. Yeah, baby. Now do you believe me? I ain't bullshitting. This is for real. Let her rip. Now let me tell you what we're gonna do with this bad boy. Well not much to see being the kind of van it's in. Just a wee bit of it but it's all been modified and shoehorned right in there. Works perfect. They did this about four years ago so it actually was a daily driver and it came with a kick-ass stereo system with sub and amp the boot sweet now let me show you my plan still looks like your average grocery getter seven passenger and that's what we've been using it for this weekend for high-speed transportation to the beach over yonder so now you know the redneck roller coaster van is going to get redone pimped out into a rocket ship this old 92 Aerostar still runs and drives perfect. Only problem is the van is bending and breaking in the middle because it's so rotten. There's no frame, there's no rocker panels, and one foot up the body has disappeared from rust. So, I guess that when I remove that seat and all that crap, you can still drive it as a normal joyrider, so that'll be good. But when I put that attachment on that other van, whoa, look out. You're talking about a serious wheelie machine. They say when you're doing a quarter mile, sometimes it almost brings one wheel off the ground. Well, we want to bring two wheels way off the ground so both cars will be stunt machines. Who knows, I may, be, may need dual brake pedals for do, rear wheel steering. Wheelie bars, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be awesome. So, if you guys don't you send me too many personal messages and I don't have to keep spending six hours a day doing stuff like that, answering messages, maybe I'll get time to convert that van from this van. Sweet.